Casualties are increasingly falling victim to the Saudi-led coalition strikes in Yemen. Human Rights Watch has confirmed that children are among the victims now. Saudi Arabia intervened following the ousting of the Sunni-backed President Hadi by the Shiite rebels there amid raging sectarian violence in the region. <laughs> Some of the scenes from the last few days, but the Houthis who now control the capital and several provinces too remain defiant, even though the coalition bombardments gather significant global support. Let's see how it's looking on the map, on the news wall here. Well, as well as Saudi Arabia and seven of its Gulf allies, Pakistan and Egypt uh, are also taking part in the operation. They're providing naval support for the bombings. Turkey too is considering jumping in, while the US is already providing intelligence. Washington's been involved in Yemen, in fact, for years now. But the strategy was held as a success by President Obama, even to last year. Uh, you can see it's descended now, though, into all-out conflict. Lebanon-based political commentator Mawa Osman believes the current crisis highlights on the failure of American diplomacy in Yemen. Obama actually ordered his troops to leave at the southern bases in Yemen. First of all, I think what the U.S. has learned and uh, very difficultly, uh, if I may, uh, that uh, actually supporting Ab uh, Abdurrabbo Mansour Hadi, the former Yemeni president, was a mistake. He fled uh, Sana'a, he went down to Aden, uh, and he declared that Aden is the new capital, which was uh, not. Uh, Hadi had more pressure from the U.S. and from Saudi Arabia as well to keep on uh, standing against uh, the Houthis, and which, which led to, to what we are seeing right now in Yemen. So. The U.S. has definitely uh, learned that standing by a former president who does not have the support of the public is a very bad idea. But it's a multi-layered problem here. By aiding the Saudi operation against the Houthis, Washington is effectively supporting a crackdown on fighters who had been battling against al-Qaeda in the region. America's sworn enemy. Well, it's seen as the terror syndicate's most lethal branch and was originally established by Osama bin Laden. It's claimed to have orchestrated, indeed, as well, January's Charlie Hebdo massacre. And although most of the branch's attacks are focused on the Middle East, uh, its key targets are Europe and the US, where several terror plots have been thwarted thus far. Political analyst Hani Ali spoke to us and believes the events in Yemen are playing into the terrorists' hands right now. What the Saudis today are doing are exactly fighting the only effective force in Yemen that stood against Al-Qaeda terrorists and ISIS or ISIL or Daesh, however they're called. So they actually effectively now doing the job of ISIS but using their, their, their American jets. I'm really concerned about these positions that the US and the UK are taking. They're very short-sighted. They are they seem to be autopiloting uh, by, um, you know, standing next to the Saudis and in somehow thinking that they're standing against the 